Yirmiyahu, Jeremiah 26. In the beginning of the reign of Yahuyakim, the son of Yoshiyahu, king of Yahuda, came this word from Yahuwah, saying, Thus says Yahuwah, Stand in the court of Yahuwah's house, and speak unto all the city as, cities of Yahuda, which come to worship in Yahuwah's house, eth all the words that I command you to speak unto them. Diminish not a word. If so be they will hearken and turn every man from his evil way, that I may repent of the evil which I purpose to do unto them because of the evil of their doings. And you shall say unto them, Thus says Yahuwah, If ye will not hearken to me to walk in my Torah, which I have set before you, to hearken to the words of my servants, the prophets, whom I sent unto you, both rising up early and sending them, but ye have not hearkened. Then will I make at this house, house like Shiloh, and will make at this city a curse to all the nations of the earth. So the priests and the prophets and all the people heard at Yeremiahu, speaking at these words in the house of Yahuwah. Now it came to pass, when Yeremiahu had made an end of speaking at all that Yahuwah had commanded him to speak unto all the people, that the priests and the prophets and all the people took him, saying, You shall surely die. Why have you prophesied in the name of Yahuwah, saying, This house shall be like Shiloh, and this city shall be desolate without an inhabitant. And all the people were gathered against El Yemeniyahu in the house of Yahuwah. When the princes of Yehuda heard at these things, then they came up from the king's house unto the house of Yahuwah and sat down in the entry of the new gate of Yahuwah's house. Then spoke the priests and the prophets unto the princes and to all the people, saying, This man is worthy to die, for he has prophesied against this city, as ye have heard with your ears. Then spoke Yeremiahu unto all the princes and to all the people, saying, Yahuwah sent me to prophesy against this house and against this city, eth all the words that ye have heard. Therefore, now amend your ways and your doings, and obey the voice of Yahuwah Elohechem, and Yahuwah will repent of the evil that he has pron pronounced against you. As for me, behold, I am in your hand. Do with me as seems good and meet unto you. But now, rather, but know ye for certain that if ye put me to death, ye shall surely bring innocent blood upon yourselves and upon this city and upon the inhabitants thereof. For of a truth, Yahuwah has sent me unto you to speak at all these words in your ears. And then said the princes and all the people unto the priests and to the prophets, This man is not worthy to die. For he has spoken to us in the name of Yahuwah Eloheinu. Then rose up certain of the elders of the land, and spoke to all the assembly of the people, saying, Mi ke Yahu, the Morishti, prophesied in the days of Yaki ki Yahu, rather, Yahiz ki Yahu, king of Yahuda, and spoke to all the people of Yahuda, saying, Thus says Yahuwah Sevaoth, Sion shall be plowed like a field, and Yerushalayim shall become heaps, and the mountain of the house as the high places of a forest. Did Yahiz Kiyahu, king of Yahuda, and all Yahuda, put him at all to death? Did he not fear at Yahuwah, and besought at Yahuwah, and Yahuwah, repented of the evil which he had pronounced against them? 
Thus might we procure great evil against our souls. And there was also a man that prophesied in the name of Yahuwah, Yuri Yahu, the son of Shema Yahu, of Kiryat Yearim, who prophesied against this city and against this land, according to all the words of Yeremiyahu. And when Yahu Yachim, the king, with all his mighty men, and all the princes, heard at his words, the king sought to put him to death. But when Yuriyahu heard it, he was afraid and fled, and went into Mitzrayim. And Yahu Yachim, the king sent into Mitzrayim, eth, namely, el the son of Achbor, and certain men with him into Mitzrayim. And they fetched forth eth Yuriyahu out of Mitzrayim, and brought him unto Yahu Yachim, the king, who slew him with the sword, and casteth his dead body into the graves of the common people. Nevertheless, the hand of Achikam, the son of Shaphan, was with Eth Yeremiahu, that they should not give him into the hand of the people to put him to death.